does like sun, does sunflower oil have like a shelf life in general or any of the oils? Yeah, you know, everything's going to have a shelf life or yeah. expire at some time. And I even notice things different from like different fields. Yeah. Like what you said, when you come in, you smell, I can smell it's different. Yeah. I can look at the oil and say, oh, that's a darker color. Yeah. And you know why? I don't know. Right. Um, sometimes I think maybe it just you know, something in the growing process happened and it, it just made it different. Um, whether it be uh, rain at the wrong time before harvest or whatever, or too much moisture, too little, um, you can smell it when you come in sometimes, like, oh, this smells sweet. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes you're like, that smells a little stale, <laughs> you know? Like that shea butter, we had some shea butter that was smelling real funky, like, and we couldn't use it. Especially that yellow shea butter. Yeah. When well, you've been around the stuff for a while, you, you start, you can just start. You know what it's yeah. supposed right. to smell. Right, yeah. right, right, like, yeah. That's what I, we have to tell people a lot. With, even with our handmade products, we like some things will look different because like sometimes yeah. a clay will look darker than most times, and yeah. the environment can play a big part right. in right. things oh. looking different. But that's the beautiful kind of upside yeah. of handmade. 